Hey everyone, it's Phoenix again, and I um, wanted to do a, an update video for the new version of Assigned Storage that I am uh, releasing today. I've actually uh, updated it for both Special Edition and uh, the original Skyrim. And uh, I wanted to show the main things that I've added um, since the last video. There's another spell uh, container setup right next to the other one. And um, basically, like it says, it's going to give you the option to configure the mod, but you can also... Um, in version 1.04 I have added the ability to use um, to spawn or give yourself uh, portable containers and there's a pretty wide assortment of different types and uh, they're actually movable so you can carry them in your inventory you can drop them and move them around uh, there's an option to lock them in place or toggle um, so they're not locked in place so you can move them and you can assign them just like any other container so I wanted to kind of show you real quick how that worked um, so a couple other quick things with this um, new spell. There's some other options there. Uh, we'll get into add the the uh, portable containers in just a second. Um, I added the store all option, and what that will do is everything in your inventory it will store in its appropriate container all at once, no matter where your containers are. Um, right now I don't have anything, but if I had a bunch of food stuff, and if I had a bunch of alchemy stuff, and I cast the store all spell. Um, it would store all of it. It would put all the alchemy in the alchemy, it would put all the food in the food, and it is based on your current list, so if you have set up any mod added uh, learning, um, or if you have any ignore lists, it takes that into account. So it's just like you had used the store all option from the individual containers one at a time, it just does it all at once. Um, so that's a cool new thing. Um, there's also some options. The safely uninstalled just basically pulls everything out of all your containers so you don't have to do that um, so you don't lose anything and then disables the quest uh, so that you can safely create a save game if you wanted to uninstall the add-on so uh, that option is there um, and the toggle linked crafting station options uh, options there so you can enable or disable that it's enabled by default um, so that is the other new stuff with this so I wanted to get into the uh, portable containers so I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, add portable containers and this is how you uh, give them to yourself you can to start off with probably the best thing is just give yourself uh, five of every type um, there is actually a new category for storing these containers so you can assign a, a container to containers and it will auto store all of the containers so if you give yourself all of them just to see which ones you want to use um, either of these um, it will give you a list of categories of the containers. You can sort of browse um, if you want chests or small sacks, large sacks, miscellaneous. Uh, there's barrels and furniture. There's actually like end tables and cabinets. I'll show you in a second. There's uh, the jars from the ruins, uh, Dwemer stuff, Falmer stuff. So um, you can give yourself one or five of one specific one of those, but usually I just say five of all and give myself five of each of them. And so if you go into your inventory, you will now see and I cleaned out my inventory so there wasn't anything except pretty much this stuff. Um, all of the different options, and there's quite a few, um, of different portable containers. So, like, the canopic jars from the uh, the ruins, you've got uh, the larger jars and the standard larger jars. These are all things that you can just drop in. I'll show you how it works. Um, large chests, there is some Dwemer stuff, just like the Dwemer cabinet. Um, there's the cool like Dwemer chests, um, the larger, some little Dwemer stuff. Um, there's the Falmer chests, including the glowing one, uh, barrels of course, end tables like a wardrobe for clothes, um, and a dresser, and uh, backpacks, safes, satchels, all of the bags. Um, so uh, it's really cool. You can pretty much, um, and I also created a new category for keys. So like you can make a lockbox and assign it to keys. Um, so just to show you really quick how it works, um, I'm going to go ahead and drop one of these in the world. Let's just drop this Dwemer chest here. So just drop it in the world, and it's going to put it right in front of you here. And what you'll notice, you can activate it just like any container. Um, it's not assigned to any category yet. Uh, you assign it the same way. You just cast the spell and click on it. But when you do, you'll see there's some other options here. Um, you can choose the type to assign to it. You can remove the type. That's what's there from the other. But these two options are new. Um, you can toggle whether this is movable, whether you can drag it around or pick it up, um, or you can pick it up. Um, and this pickup option puts it back in your inventory. Um, 
so what I wanted to show you how is um, so when you drop these by default they are they're movable so what you can do is you can like push them around or, or you know carry them around like you would any regular thing um, I'm gonna walk because it's easier to actually fine-tune um, they have full havoc physics um, realistic materials uh, I've made all custom meshes for these um, I'm going to make an optional version that uses the meshes from um, Skyrim mesh improvement mod but for now they use the texture paths so any texture replacement mods that you have high resolution textures or anything uh, they will benefit from that or if you have any like texture packs that change what stuff looks like uh, they will benefit from that um, the mesh improvement models uh, for people who use that mod is a future option. So anyway, um, once you're done moving this around, uh, let's just say I, I wanted to put it there. I mean, that's you have to tweak it for a while, just like any other physics in the game, to get it absolutely right. But since you know you only have to do it once, it's not that big a deal. But basically, um, what you'll find is like each one of these has a center um, of gravity or mass where if you click on it there um, or a distance from uh, where you are when you click on it that results in the less like popping like if you step back a little bit and try and click it a little lower when you grab it um, you might get a better angle so that it's easier to actually line it up and then get it where you want so once you have it where you want you can uh, go and uh, cast a spell and then when you click on it while your spell is active your assignment spell is active you have the option to toggle movable and so basically now you can't drag it and I can actually like jump on top of it and uh, run into it and it's not going to move it's locked in place now and um, you know you can toggle it to be movable again and now it's you can do stuff with it um, and you can also assign these just like you would with any other container so if I wanted to assign this to like valuables um, it works just like any other container and um, you can pick them up regardless of whether they're assigned or not uh, just cast your spell and pick them up you'll see it puts them back in your inventory um, there's lots of cool you know options here for these um, like some of these little ones uh, you take for granted but it's really cool just to be able to drop like an alchemy satchel you know anywhere and have it be fully physics and uh, get <laughs> physics is al always kind of fun to tweak with but um, so yeah there you can basically put stuff wherever you want um, really really cool uh, what was I going to show oh yeah and um, some of them like uh, this one um, you can see right now it's it's sitting on the stand like you would probably want but um, because of the way that the collision objects work with these teeny little legs on some of these sometimes it'll do that and um, it's no big deal uh, actually you might want it to do that because it might actually look kind of cool next to a table not up on the legs so that's fine you can lock it in place just like that um, if you want the legs though just get it close to the floor and just sort of set it down gently um, try not to let it fall very far and uh, usually you'll not have an option you, or uh, a problem getting the legs to stay above the ground um, and then once they're above the ground usually you can kind of move it around um, and they'll stay above the ground it's just part of the the collision so um, but still um, you know the option to be able to hide it underground is something that you might want and that's basically how they work um, that's all pretty much the same deal um, so all of these can be locked in place um, they can keep their physics you can pick them back up and carry them with you anywhere you go and uh, oh and so let me go ahead and pick all these up see if I can get them before the spell runs out yep okay if the spell runs out they activate just like normal containers so um, now if I do store all it is going to store those containers as well and um, if I were to assign an item or a container to uh, here's the new categories you got containers and keys so if I was going to assign this to containers there's my portable containers so now I can actually pull any one of these out to carry with me that I wanted if I want to carry like a bag with me or something um, then I could just you know take just the ones I want um, still using the old Skyrim controls uh, let's see so say I just wanted to carry one bag with me um, I have 
now that option to carry just if I'm in a dungeon and there's no, um, I want to have at least one container, portable container with me, I, so you can do that. Um, it's really up to you, but that's um, a really cool new option that I've added. Some things I'm going to probably add in the future. Um, when you link crafting stations, I think I'm going to make an option where, or I'm just going to make it behave so that it pulls all your materials from like blacksmithing, soul gems, alchemy, everything, no matter what crafting station. Um, just because some mods use like, you know, and also like jewelry, I'll probably pull that in too because like some blacksmithing mods use gems. So I'll probably make that behavior just pull everything. Um, but I'm researching a way to um, bypass with a perk the activation of these stations so I can add a delay um, to not actually activate it until, you know, the 0.5 or 0.7 seconds it takes to actually pull all that in so you don't get the thing where it's like gray. Um, where all your ingredients are there but crafting is gray until you actually craft something then it updates all the totals is doing that because it's not done adding them um, when you actually start crafting. So I want to fix that that behavior and then um, what else did I want to do there were a couple things um, oh there's some crafting stations with hearth fire uh, trophy I don't I have a trophy room here but those pedestals where you activate them and you can make like mud crab trophies or troll trophies or whatever uh, those are technically crafting stations but they work like containers so there's no animation to track to see if the player is done crafting so I want to um, work out a way to add support for those as well so that's the other thing I'm currently working on but that is the uh, version 1.04 update with uh, portable containers for assigned storage I hope you like it and have fun